Let's take a look at a R formula question here from Nan Chao Hai. In the diagram, triangles OBC and OAD are right angle triangles such that OC equals to 9 cm and OD equals to 11 cm. Angles BOC and ODA are each equal to theta, where theta is between 0 degree to 90 degree. Part A, express AB in a form R cos theta plus alpha, where R more than 0 and alpha is between 0 to 90 degree. Now let me put down here first, AB. Based on the diagram, I can see that AB is OB minus OA. Now, let us figure out how can we get the value of OB from the triangle. So, OB is adjacent side to this angle theta here. And we are given hypotenuse as 9. So, for the first triangle, I'm going to apply CAH where cos theta is equals to OB over 9. So, to find OB, I multiply 9 to the left. So, for OB length here, I'll be getting 9 cos theta. Now, let's take a look at length OA now. Length OA is going to be the opposite side of this angle theta. And I'm also given hypotenuse as 11. So, I'm going to apply SOH whereby sine theta equals to OA over 11. So, I'm going to write down here then OA multiply 11 to the left. I'll have 11 sine theta. Okay, so let's focus on part A now. We are asked to write in the form of R cos theta plus alpha. Now let's take a look at the formula pitch for this one here. We'll be having cos A cos B, but remember there's an R here, so I'm going to place R cos theta cos alpha. And opposite sign, so this is plus, I'm going to place minus, and again I'm going to place R as well. Then I'll take sine theta sine alpha. Alright, I'm done with using the formula pitch. Let's go back to the question. We'll continue by observing the one with cos theta. Let me underline it. So I can see that our cos alpha is equal to 9. Let me write down our cos alpha equals to 9. Observing the term that contains sine theta with this one here. I can see this negative, this negative. I'm not going to focus on negative. I'm going to focus on R sine alpha. Now it's 11. So I'm going to write down R sine alpha equals 11. Okay, I'm, we have two equations. So 1 and 2. First, I'm going to do 1 square plus 2 square. So on the left, I'll have R square. I'm not going to do cos square plus sine square because that's going to be a 1. Let's just skip that. And we're going to do right hand side. 9 square plus 11 square. Let me now take out my calculator. Calculate 9 square plus 11 square. That's 202. I'm going to move the square to the right. So I write square root. Positive because r more than 0. So if you click your calculator, you'll be getting 14.2 as a 3SF answer. Let's focus on the angle alpha now. I need sine over cos. So I'm going to take 2 divided by 1. So I can get sine alpha over cos alpha. R over R is 1 that's gone. So I equal to 11 over 9. Because sine alpha over cos alpha will give me tangent alpha. And next step, I know alpha is quadrant 1 or the reference angle. Let's take inverse of tangent. 11 over 9. And let's check again. The mode of calculator needs to be in degree. So let's click our calculator. And I'll be getting 50. 0.7 degree in 1 dp. Now we are ready to express AB in this form here. So let's rewrite this one here. AB equals to replace R with 14.2 and cos theta plus alpha. Go write cos theta and alpha replaced with 50.7 degree. So this is the answer for part A. Now, let's take a look at part B of this question. Find the minimum value of AB and the corresponding value of theta. Now, this is a bit tricky over here. Let me just write down here for you to see. Now, most of the time, you will be considering the minimum of cost graph. You will take this value here, which is a negative 1. Now, let me warn you for this case here. If you're going to take negative 1, what happened to AB value is that you'll get a negative 14.2. And AB is the length. 
So for this case here, we're going to consider the minimum value for B. Now for this one here, when we consider AB equals to zero, meaning I'm checking at zero position here. So this graph here ends at 360 degree. So the middle here is 180. And to get zero at this point here, it's going to be 90 degree. Let me equate this one. Theta plus 50.7 degree equals to 90 degree. So theta value must be 39.3 degree. Now you will notice that theta is between 0 to 90. So we are checking this point. In our answer here is between 0 to 90. So this answer will be our answer for part B. Now let's take a look at an interesting part C question here. Find the range of values of theta for which A is between O and B. Now I'm going to explain what you have here in part B where you do A, B equals 0 and theta equals to 39.3 degree is that A and B will be an overlapping dot over here. So to get A to be between O and B, that's what's going to happen is that this one we will push the triangle this way to maintain the length here as 9. You will get something like this one here where point B's come here and C here. So this is the new theta value and for point D we'll push it out here. So let me redraw this triangle here. So this is what you'll get at your new theta. That's where D prime and here this dot will be A prime. So you will move B to the right and A to the left. Okay. So let's observe the change in the angle. So the black one here, this is the original theta value. So compare this one with theta prime. So what you observe is that theta value decreases. Okay, so using diagram, so when they are on the same dot here, the angle is 39.3. And since we know theta must fall between 0 and 90, so to have A between O and B, so theta must be between 0 to 39.3 degree just by understanding the diagram. Now, what if you want to use graph? Let's take now, let's take a look at this diagram again. So, in order to use the graph, let's observe here. If you need A to be between O and B, that means OB length will be more than OA length. And remember, from the part A of the question, we have written AB as OB minus OA. So when OB is more than OA, which means AB value will be positive. Now, let's take a look at this graph here. When AB is positive, which is this part here. So here will be starting from 0 degree. So let me write this angle here. This is the angle must fall between 0 to 90. So we'll get this one here. Based on the graph. So let, let us minus 50.7 to get theta value. So I'll have theta between 50.7 and 39.3 degree. And since the question say that theta must be more than 0, so therefore theta must be between 0 to 39.3 degree. Okay, so remember to take a look at the question, although we have answer using graph. But do remember that from question, we do not have a negative angle. So this will be our final answer. That's all for this question here.